Let's go to the Bronx, New York, and talk to a first-time caller, Anita. Anita, thanks for calling you on the air. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Uh, my message is, well, this is the first time that I've viewed your show. Well, I welcome. am somewhat appalled by your message. It seems that you have a lot of followers, and I'm sure that most of them are not African Americans. I, Why I are see, you sure about that? Well, I, basically, sir, I did a little research on your website. I didn't have to. I'm so angry at this point because it seems that you're bringing a lot of you're uh, actually condoning a lot of things that has been done. In your opinion, I'm sure is 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 one that is uh, a lot of folks. You, 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 as an African American man, I'm not African American. Okay, the, well, the person that I'm listening to, I'm black. On, okay, whatever. You're black. You're black man. And sir, you, you sound. I don't know what your level of education is. I, I'm I barely my made it. I'm, I barely made I'm, it through high school. Okay, well, that's obvious. Um, I can see because, <laughs> and as well, I'm not trying what to be. Uh, what I'm, am I sir, saying that's sir, not let true? Me, if, if you stop what am I saying your, that's hello, not true? Can, I don't. That's your opinion. If no, you what stop overtalking your true. listeners, if you'll give a person hey. a chance to speak, because every caller that calls <sighs> in, you, you you didn't allow them to, you, you cut in as you're true. What doing am now, I saying that's not true? That's your truth. No, but what I'm saying is you're attacking President Obama, this one, that one. Hold on, I am Anita. not a prejudiced Anita, I'm not a Anita, racist. Anita, hold on, hold on. Sure. I, I need to take a break, and I'll be back. When I come back, I'll take you first and the rest of the callers. Take, drink some water, Anita, or something while I'm on break. Anita, thank you uh, for holding. you on the air. Yes, okay. I didn't call to attack you, Mr. Jackson. Okay, as a black man, I just personally feel that the message that you are sending uh, to Americans in, in general uh, is not one that is going to be, that is helpful. Uh, as to, I, I'm trying to figure out if you are here to help the country as a whole to, you know, the, with this division of, that we have already. We have Trump who's in office now. I, I, I'm assuming that you're uh, Trump uh, uh, promoter, that you actually promote the, uh, the things that he's doing. Even yes, though I, I, I call I him, the, like great, the, I call mm -hmm. him the great white hope. Okay, but my message, my question to you, sir, is what type of resolution, you said the black uh, woman uh, that we're to blame for these uh Black men out here, Trayvon, and so on and so forth, that they're thugs and this and that and the other because they're having multiple babies by uh, fathers um, out of wedlock. And a lot of that is true, but um, the statistics are both ways, maybe more so with the black women. My question to you, um, as we know, slavery was many, many hundreds of years ago. What uh, at the black communities went through there, there, and, of course, we also have... Uh, the Jews who went through this and that and the other. Everyone has had some kind of devastation to their um, race. What type of, but what type of um, hope, what, what, what type of, oh my God, what, what was given to the blacks to help them, uh, you know, uh, get past that? What type of counseling, if any, you know, I forget the mules and the, the land that was promised uh, after the devastation, the families were broken. Uh, by the white man or whatever, by man, period. What type of resolution was given to these people who suffered? I mean, of course they have issues because the family was doomed. Um, it was separated many, many years ago, and there was no help because they all the devastation that was from their ancestors that obviously passed on to their children and to their children. So do you expect these people to just be well and, and, and these black families to be, you know, um, you know, have it all together, old money, this and that, when they had nothing to start with. Anita, what's your question? My question to you is why are you sitting there and acting as though uh, blacks are the cause of all these problems in the, in, 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 the, in, in the world today? Why are you making it, instead of you, when you, men of, black men like yourself have a platform where they can cause, help people as a whole, not just blacks. Bring some type of unity. So what's you're your question? Division because your 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 words are so shockingly just basically you just oh angry at the black man. That's what it seems like at the black people as a whole. What is your message? Are you there? You sound very illiterate because you you, you, I you am. speak as though you, well. Then you 
You shouldn't be on the platform that you're at. Why not? I'm so angry. My words are stumped because you make no sense because you're giving nothing but more prejudice and hate. That's what you're spreading. <laughs> That's what you're bringing is diversity. You're bringing, not diversity, division, excuse me. No, we're what are you already saying divided. to empower people? What are your recommendations to empower people okay. who are in that situation that you're saying that the blacks are thugs and this and that? What about the white thugs? Okay, let me respond. Calm down. Please do. Uh, what you might not realize is that prior to the civil rights movement over 60 years ago now, that most black people were a moral people. They loved what was right. For the most part, they got married. They was uh, less than 10 percent of black children born out of wedlock. Black people were working hard. They own land. They didn't have black leaders using them and blaming them in order to gain power and wealth for themselves. For the most part, black Americans believed in God. When I was growing up, they believed in God. And this was under the Jim Crow law and all those things. And once the civil rights movement started with Jesse Jackson and Martin Luther King and all those people, um, uh, Martin Luther King wanted black people to stay in the condition of love and don't hate and be more than upright people so they can be judged by the context of character and not color. But once he was assassinated, uh, the race hustlers like uh, John Lewis and Jesse Jackson and the rest of the so-called civil rights leaders, they took a message of love and turned it into hate so that they can control black people. And the government became the daddy under Lyndon B. Johnson. And so the Democratic Party gathered... You're making a lot of noise in the background. No, I'm putting on my jacket. Go uh, ahead. I apologize. The uh, Democratic Party gathered the black people and said, hey, come live with us. We're going to take care of you. You, 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 you. you can't make it because of racism. You don't need to get married. We'll take care of your children for you. And black people fell away from God, and it's been downhill for them Every sense. Sir, I, you know, I hear what you're saying because I'm no great, uh, great uh, supporter of Jesse Jackson and all those others. I, I think some of them are just pure opportunists. My point to you is you say 50 years. 50 years is nothing compared to all the suffering that blacks have went through. And you're saying, and, and as far as Martin Luther King, yes, he was a great man, but he also had some trash in his past, too. Now, my point is that. You're saying 50 years that 50 to 60 since we years lost ago. the leader. And the, um, only they, suffering, uh, the only suffering blacks have done is from their senior mother. Are the, you serious? The only suffering? Within the last sir, 60 years. Sir, you, you, you are aware of Mr. Lynch, right? Lynch, Bill Lynch, am I right? Who taught the, the slave owners how to break a nigger and so on and so forth. Those things impacted blacks well, from... Anita. Generations and generations. You're talking about suffering. Anita. Our black babies were was Anita. thought to be nothing more than uh, the blood of the black babies were sold to, to make the white man's uh, crops, uh, um, crops uh, uh, grow healthy. Are you serious? We didn't Anita, suffer. Anita, they are you're making a fool out of you. Because you know what? You're sitting there and you're, 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 you're you, using Anita. the opportunity as Anita. a platform that you have to create more hate. Yes, you can hang up on me at any time Anita. because you are the worst thing that we could ever have as a leader. Someone representing black people. Leader. You're bringing more division. You're bringing more division and hatred than ever. And with that, I say, you know what? You, I hope you sleep well at night. Anita, because what you're there's no such is thing as a willing anger, letter. Anger, more or anger. You need to go get some more uh, uh, formal education before Anita. you get on TV and, and, and open your mouth as, li- as illiterate as you are. Because I am a college graduate, and I know I damn well tell. if I was on the platform and had the opportunity as you, I wouldn't cause hatred among blacks and whites. I would try to bring Obama together that. unity. And that's not what you're doing. You're talking about we didn't suffer. Black people suffered and we're still suffering because you suffered of people at the hands yourself. of your mother. People, my mother was a great woman. <laughs> no, she wasn't. You, you, excuse you? No, your mother was you, you're not. You're trying to bring some anger about right now. Because no, I'm you, not. you obviously have some mental health issues. Your you, mother I don't know was held to pay and you become you just like her. You're, you can have a good day, because I was going to say some very bad so. words and kiss my you, black ass. Oh, see, I told you. You cannot be cursing our air. Isn't that something? <laughs> Anita became, became just like her mother. She done cursed at me and ran. She hung up on me. See, folks, I know what I'm doing here. This is not about racism. 
This is coming out of the single parent homes and even those homes where father, black fathers are not in control. She said, kiss my black A. <laughs> That's where it's coming from. It has nothing to do with white racism because it doesn't exist. It is spiritual and it's straight out of the single parent home, folks. Or, and the parents where fathers are not good men. They're not the head of the wives. They're not bringing love and order into the family. I'm telling you. She, yeah, she said, kiss my black A. Hey, I don't know when the last time someone told me that. <laughs> oh, she lost it. And she's educated. I'm the dummy, and she's educated, educated, and she's telling me to kiss her, kiss her black A hey, and running. Wanting to blame someone else. There's nothing more disgusting and weak and pathetic to hear adults blaming someone else for their lack of. It's ridiculous, and especially with men. Especially with men. And all you hear from black men today is white man, the white man. What kind of man going to blame another man saying that another man can hold you down? How is it that the white man is better than you? That leader said, kiss my black A and ran. <laughs> An educator, educated woman, strong woman, a queen, strong black woman. <laughs> 